So here's a slightly more advanced version of this. This is a multi-step problem. So if we look at this problem, it's asking us to start with a pH and work backwards to figure out how much OH- minus we would need to put in the solution to get that pH. So again, really applicable, right? So let's say you're working somewhere, maybe in a water treatment facility or in some area in industry where you would need to have a solution that's of a certain pH, but you're going to make that solution not by putting acid in, but by putting a base into the solution. So maybe you're gonna make it with a sodium hydroxide and you need to figure out how much sodium hydroxide you're going to put into that solution to get the pH that you're looking for. So in order to do this, there are two steps we need to complete. The first step is we need to change this pH into a pOH, and then we can use the calculation where we go from pOH to OH minus. Both steps are important. You can't skip a step, you have to go in order. So to find the pOH, I'm going to take 14 minus my pH. So 4.8 is going to be my pOH. Yep, you can absolutely use a calculator on that, um, but that's going to get you your pOH. And then from there, you're going to find your OH minus concentration. Again, pOH, pOH, I can only use this step if these two match up. So I'm going to take 10 to the negative 4.8. can't do this one in mental math, so I'm going to use my calculator. So 10 to the x, negative 4.8. So I'm going to get an OH minus concentration, which is 0 0.0000158. I'm going to put that in scientific notation so it's a little bit easier for me to understand. So I'm going to move the decimal place over five spots. So I'm going to get 1.58 times 10 to the negative fifth as my molarity. So again, I'm counting over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put my decimal point in between the 1 and the 5. And then it's times 10 to the negative fifth. So that's a two-step problem. Uh, you can do the same thing with a pOH to an H plus concentration. Um, either direction works, but it's going to require two steps.